So kayo ba ngayon, no? Hindi sa Google Form pa rin kung sasabot para sa ating ilang sa atin. Sinabi mo ba, sir, this new normal challenge us to try and do things na hindi natin ginagawa before. And speaking of that, naku ma'am, today is one of those things na kakaiba okay, talaga yung gagawin natin. Ha? Huh? Usual talaga, kaya yun today, ang first day ng class natin, in a new normal style. Ha? Huh? Pinasan yung mga bata. Ayan ko! Po, oh, kanina pa sila nandiyo dyan, pinapanood nila tayo. Oo oh, naman sir, chinecheck ko lang kung alam mo. Hi Ms. Connors, how are you? Hello, Ms. Connors. I hope you're still excited for this first day of classes. I totally agree with you, ma'am. This Bosconians will still remain in our hearts. Sir Jones, do you want to know how our Bosconians prepare for the first day of class? Well, of course. Now, here is our Kabots Kulit Mateo Tihanki to show us how he prepared for this very special day. Talaga? Asan siya? Asan? Ayan, no? Oh. Hi, Tihanki! for the online classes. Tama ka dyan, Ma'am Sheila. It is as if they are still going here in school when they prepare in the morning. And I think it should always be like that. Wake up early, eat breakfast, take a bath, and brush your teeth, and ready your things and study place for your online class. Tama ka naman dyan, Sir Joms. Bosconians should always do their ordinary duties Extraordinary Luel, kahit nasan pa sila. Correct! Pero I'm just wondering, ano kaya ang sasabihin ni Father Fabi, our rector, to our Bosconian, on the first day of the class? Sir, ano ka ba? Why stress yourself about that? Why not? Let's go to Father Fabi and listen to his good morning talk for these Bosconians who are watching online. Oo nga no, syempre hindi dapat mawala ang good morning talk. Tara, let's go! Hello! Welcome! Good morning, Bosconians! Long time no see. First of all, I would like to congratulate you all. Di ba? Dati, grade 2 lang kayo. Now, grade 3 na kayo. Palakpak! Oh, galing. Dati, grade 3 kayo. Kaya kayo mga grade 4, palakpak ng dalawa. Kayo mga grade 4, di ba? Dati, grade 5 lang kayo. Di ba? Kaya... 
Hola, Paco! And ang mga grade 5 last year, now, you are the kuyas. You are the grade 6 students of this year. Kaya palakpakan ng may kalampakan. Congratulations to you, to all our students, whether you were Bosconians last year or not. We like to welcome all our newcomers. Kaya mga dear Bosconians ah, of last year, when you look around your Google Classroom, you might see new faces. Welcome them. Yan. Be good to them. Never bully them kahit virtual man lang. Be good to our new Bosconians. Yan. Okay? I'd like to welcome you to Don Bosco Makati to, to school year 2020-2021. Palakpakan However, the school year is a bit different. Very different. Mostly, it will be online. And I pray that there will be a time na we will be allowed to go to school. Diba? Ganda-ganda na ngayon ang football field natin. Ayan, no? Do you miss your school? No? I, I don't miss it because I'm there. No? So hopefully, you can come to school. In this first morning talk to you, I think you should be very positive. Positive. In this COVID, ah, positive in outlook. Ah, because you are blessed. My dear Bosconians, you are blessed. Why? Uh, how are you blessed? Number one, you are healthy. In this five or six months, no, we have heard so many news of people who are sick of COVID-19. And there are people who have died. Maybe some of your relatives have died because of COVID. Thanks be to God, you are here. You are alive. That is one grace that we have. That's why we are blessed. Number two, we are blessed. Why? Because we are able to enroll. We are able to study. Not many young people today can go to school. Can go to school. No? Maybe if we will look around, nasana si ganito, nasana si ganyan. No, wala na. They shifted to siguro homeschool or they shifted to the province. Why? Because they could not anymore afford to study in Don Bosco. Kaya nga, you are blessed. You should be thankful to your parents. May mga parents hanggang ngayon nagahabol pang maka-enroll because it's only the now that they have the money to pay. Some of the, your parents had difficulty because they lost their job, they lost their business, now they're beginning again. Because of that, that you are studying in Don Bosco, you should be thankful to your parents. And thirdly, you are blessed. Why? Because you have the gadgets. You have the internet. No? Some of the other students, ah, hirap sila. Mga nasa bundok, mga nasa isla. Could not study well. Why? Because they don't have any access. Some do not have the gadgets that you have. Again, your parents really uh, sacrifice a lot in order to provide the gadgets you now have for this online learning this school year. No? Kaya despite all the negativity around, remember you are blessed. And dapat magpasalamat ka. You should be thankful. Magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos na hindi tayo pinapabayaan. Magpasalamat tayo sa mga magulang natin na pinrobide tayo ng pagkakataon mag-aral uli dito sa Don Bosco. Pinagbigyan tayo ng mga kinakailangan nating mga gadgets, computer. 
para makapag-online learning. O salamatan natin mga teachers natin, kahit bago pa lang advisor niyo kasi talaga nag-learn sila, nag-aral sila during this summer. Wala nga silang summer eh. No? Pinag-aralan nila paano ba itong online learning na to, paano ba itong synchronous na to. No? Nagpaganda pa sila para maganda tingin nila sa ano sa computer nga, di ba? No? Kaya my dear boys, you should be appreciative. No? Let us remove all negativity. Let's start the school year right by being thankful because we are blessed. Again, welcome to Don Bosco Makati. Welcome to school year 2020-2021. God bless us all. The basketball court because during lunch or dismissal we got to play with my classmates and friends here I can enhance my skills and have fun with them we can also watch older students enjoy playing basketball and how they build sportsmanship I can see happy faces when I go to this place whenever someone is hurt students help each other how I wish I can go this to this place again. Place I miss the most in Don Bosco is Magonedo. It is where I can see all the teachers and students of Don Bosco during assembly. The classroom serves as the bonding place to become physically, emotionally, socially, spiritually, and academically prepared. The Magoni Dome is the place I really miss most. I can do many activities and freely express myself. I can run, jump, shout, but do not sing. Meet, sing, play, and pray together as one big family. It is where we are being reminded by our teachers and priests that as Bosconians, we must be God-fearing, good Christians, and upright citizens. Must choose to be better and always choose the better things. What places I miss most in Don Bosco? First of all, I miss the Mogoni Dome where we hold our EPC masses, also our classroom, and most especially, the Savio Dome where we spend our playtime during lunch break. Why? Since I started school here in Don Bosco four years ago, I was used to be these places, but because of the pandemic, we are not allowed to go to school. We have to adjust to the new normal. The place I miss the most in Don Bosco is because that's the place where me and my friends play basketball during breaks. I'm Aaron Genesis S. Aboy from grade 5 Zati. I've been in Don Bosco since kindergarten. Due to our current situation, we're not allowed to go to school. Instead, we study through online classes. I miss every corner in Don Bosco. But what I miss the most is the Savio Dome. Because me and my classmates always played there during recess and lunch, and we also practice dance there if we have class presentation. That's all. Thank you. Hi! I'm Kayla Demi Plus. My favorite place in the bus hall that I miss the most is Magona Dome because I love to play basketball. I'm also reminded of the fun and special events in Magona Dome like Bonawita and Intramura. I've been stuck at home since March and I can't wait to just play with my friends and run around Magona Dome for hours! Bye! The, the place that I miss in Don Bosco is 
the computer room because I like to study with the computer and the leftover time we use it to play game. Hi, my name is Joseph Miguel C. Palmos and the place that I miss the most is the dance room because that's where we always go during lunchtime and practice every club meeting and that's also where I meet my club mates. The place I miss most in Don Bosco is the faculty room because I get to spend more time with my teachers and it feels like home. What I miss the most is the Sabi room because the Sabi room isn't just an ordinary place in the school. It is a place where one can exercise and play athletic and at the same time it serves a social hall where Students like us enrich our journey through friendship made and fortified by never ending hello and warm regards. What place do you miss the most in Don Bosco? The Maganadong. Why? Because I love to play with my friends, meet new students, and say hello to everyone, especially the teachers. And to get that energetic and uh, spiritual vibe during us. I miss our classroom. It's where we study and eat together with my classmates and teachers. I miss our big soccer field. I remember before the lockdown, we played soccer and we won second place. I also miss this church. It's where we celebrate our grade level mass. We pray that this pandemic will end soon so we can be back to school and see and see our classmates and teachers. We miss Don Bosco Technical Institute of Makati where, where we study, play, and pray. Hi, I'm Max Marfa, incoming grade 2, Section Ronaldi. I miss the library the most because I love to read books and learn new things. Bye, Bosco Nyans! Hi, Ma'am Sheila. Ganito pala talaga ang feeling ng online, kaya nakakamiss talaga ang school. Well, tama ka naman dyan, Sir Jones. I can feel how much our Bosco Nyans really miss this part of the school. Also, for our new students naman, they got to know these parts that they will be seeing by the time na pwede na ang face-to-face -face learning. I've been praying for that, ma'am. And hindi lang ang places ang nakakamiss, kundi sila din. I miss seeing Bosconians running, jumping, shouting, and playing in the Magoni Dome. If that's the case, why not let's play a game with them? Huh? How can we do that eh, online tayo? Well, we will call our game, Bring Me, Take a Pick. How are we going to do that? Very simple, Sir Jones. Kayang-kaya ng Bosconians natin to. Just like the usual Bring Me. Pero, this time, instead of bringing the things to us, they just need to do the following. First, they need to collect all the items na ipa-flash natin sa screen. Second, they need to take pictures of these items holding or wearing them. And lastly, they need to send the pictures in their class section email. O di ba ang dali lang? Uulitin ko lang, Ma'am Sheila, ha? So, ang gagawin nila ay, first, they have to collect all the items needed na ipa-flash natin sa screen. Second, they have to take a picture of themselves holding and wearing all those items. And lastly, they need to send this picture to their class section email. Madali lang pala, no? That's correct, sir. O diba, very simple. For our younger Bosconians naman, don't worry kasi you can ask assistance from your parents or guardians. Excited na ako, Ma'am Sheila. And I think they are ready na ang ating mga Bosconians. Diba, Busconians? Ready na kayo? So, what are we waiting for? Let's start our Bring, Bring me, me, Take, take a, a pick. pick! Go! Go!
Juan Bosco accounts. Kaya napaka-importante sa akin ng Juan Bosco account. This, in general account, will be our platform in our classes. Sir Jones, do you think the Bosconi is ready to help you with this? Maybe because we already had bridging program in Simulation. But it would be better if we remind them on how to use this as part of our new normal. Here is the first wave of our Kabos Kalit. Today, he will be teaching us on how to open our OneBus account and general account. Let's start with our OneBus account. How to log in with your OneBus account. Open your browser. Type gmail.com Enter your email account. Enter password. Click Join Meeting and enter your meeting code. Remember to always follow your teacher. Open your camera at all times and keep your microphone off to avoid class disruptions. You may use the emojis when necessary. Pick raise hand if you want to answer. Use only the chat box when you want to answer or there's a very important thing you want to say to your teacher. Now, for our grades 1 to 6, here's the steps on how you are going to open your Genu account. First, open an internet browser. Then, go to www.genio.com. Type in the school ID and click next. Lastly, type in your login ID and password and click login. Education continues at home with Genio eLearning. Get access to digital lessons designed by teachers for asynchronous learning. Explore animated tutorials, interactive activities, games, and more. Take online assessments and monitor progress with a click of a button. Genio is accessible using laptops, desktops, or mobile devices. Education continues at home with Genio eLearning. Enjoy learning this school year, Mosconians! Watching us. How about you, Busconians? Do you want to know the people who will be with you this school year? Here they are.
Kasama ka dyan. We hope our Buscanians enjoyed our welcome back to school version, new normal for this episode. I'm sure they did. So magpapaalam muna tayo sa kanila. Goodbye Buscanians and see you again for another episode of Bosco! Bosco!